this, all these tools around here are ours. A lot of them, like those are our saw horses. And the hammer. I have the saw horses. I, li I have four or five sets of them. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. They work. They're, they're light enough to lug around. Yeah, they're, they they're really light. They don't warp when you forget them in your truck. Yep. So we're over at, um, we're at the new building. Just came over to see what they've done. We met with the uh, big ass LED guys today. And he thought that we had way too much light coming in. He recommended half, like we're using 14 lumen lights. And he said that even the tins that they make will be too much. But really that's what I'm looking for is very, very bright, super bright light in there. So I think we're going to actually run, we're basically dividing the bottom manufacturing areas into 20 by 20 areas. And we'll have what, 15, 20 by 20 areas down there? Give or take. So we're thinking we're going to run one of those in the center of the room and then two big T5s um, towards each edge of the room. So, and, and those LEDs, they turn off when, you, when you're not in the room. When you walk in, they immediately turn on. So it saves the life of them also when you're not in there. They're not running. They have a motion sensor on them. So that's pretty cool. And um, I didn't notice if, did you notice if they're downstairs? I didn't notice if they're the here. Yeah. Mm -mm, they weren't. So tomorrow we should have the 12 units. We can hang them. They're sending us some 5,000 lumen shop lights, and then they're sending us a 10,000 lumen unit to test next to the 14,000 lumen units as well. And uh, I think we're going to install them, and if for some reason we just absolutely hate them, the other fixtures, the lower lumen fixtures are the same size, we will pull down the 14s, Put the tins in place and then we'll use the 14s in the bigger bay out here with the higher that's the the that's the problem we're running into the ceilings are so low down there he said you want at least 10 feet and we've got seven feet down there but what he's thinking is a problem i really don't think is a problem like we bring in all kinds of light and then we add more light and we've got four foot fixtures over each machine and each machine has a led and some of the girls are running two leds so I think I think that will take care of a lot yeah, of it. You might not have to do those anymore if you right, have enough might light. Not it might make the those. desks a little more simple. And if nothing else, I'll use them in my lab, in my my area where I'm working, because I do want that that super bright light, and uh, it'll be good. We're gonna start boxing in some of the areas downstairs. We're gonna do um, the first one where I'll start putting my stuff in, and we'll do the second one kind of as a little mini showroom, basically like a a trade show booth setup. So we can have stuff on display. We can stage our, our show um, booth area until we get that all worked out. And it'll give us a, an area to, to really mess with the lighting and see what, what's up in there. Um, in here, they've lowered these down so that the windows will be bigger. All of the framing on the front is cut out. The whole entire front will be glass. The glass guys were supposed to show up today and did not show up. So we might be shopping for another glass company there's 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 a myriad of them around we were trying to use a, a very local company and uh we'll see maybe they'll show up tomorrow and have some info if not you know there's other companies that can come in and do it um the heat and air guys were in here they've staged out where all of our lines and our uh our returns and our um outlets are so they're in and they start building tomorrow and get in and start running. We've got 400 feet of main trunk line they're going to put in and uh, that's going to take off in the sides and we've got, we've got air vents coming in. Three of them I think you said, two or three inside these offices. We've got them coming in here and here and then mirrored on that side. We'll have something coming in both these sides. bathroom coming in here is I think we're doing a six by six bathroom right here there'll be one come air let coming in there'll be air over here the kitchen goes here and then we've got the there's a, a return here and then a mirrored one on the other side and they're starting to do all that stuff so every time we come in we were here this morning and from when we were here this morning to now there's a lot more shit done they're starting to put in all the receptacles all the outlets all the switches missing anything mm -mm, no. so we start looking now we're looking at um, floor products tile carpet I think we're using a, a heavy traffic um, carpet tile by Mohawk and it has a, a kind of a pattern one directional pattern kind of like lines in it where it goes kind of ridges 
So down the middle, three feet, we'll just have it, <clears throat> all those tiles facing one direction, and then we'll stagger them and make them a pattern off to the sides. In the, in the area here, we'll run some kind of hardwood or hard flooring in the kitchen. We're using the Craftsmade kitchen cabinets. I think it's a, it's a maple with a red lacquer over it with the stainless steel poles, and then the, the um, glass with the wire mesh inside is going in for the kitchen. We've got to start measuring that out. Once the bathroom's in place, we'll really know. Once the bathroom and kind of the return line's in place, we'll know what we've got left kitchen-wise, and we'll just conform the kitchen to the size that's left. It's not we're not cooking up there or anything it's more of just a a bar and you know food little food prep area where you can pull food out of the fridge there'll be a microwave and shit up there other than that that's uh that's about it we just it's what 4 30 it's mm -hmm. almost five we just want to get out of the shop really that's why we're here doing this right now we just wanted out of the building for a few minutes heather's crew is running an hour and a half over tonight or something something is it their fan just getting everything built up for while we're at shot show all the work, the pre-work stuff, and then uh, I think there's girl. I know there's girls down there selling still. Did yeah. You guys get a Always. shitload of belts today. Uh, we got a pretty good bit. We did. Yeah, I've gone. We had three different. Quite a few. Yeah, he just got another thing of them, and they've gave me three different bundles. So we just got another thousand so buckles today. So I'll be cutting belts again tonight. That's a lot of light up top just from those few fluorescents. Mm-hmm. So you come down here, well half the lights are off down here. Yeah. Yeah, even with just the lights they've ran on it, it's not dim. Right. It's just not as bright as a workspace. But work once we put those work. T5 high output bulbs in, yeah. it'll be bright down here even before we get the LEDs. Yeah. It's going, man. So for the bathrooms, I think we've got four bathrooms down here. I, I don't know if I'd said that before. We got four bathrooms, and what I'm thinking is we're going to take three of them knocks the walls down and make it two bigger bathrooms instead of the three put a shower in each one and then this fourth bathroom we'll just kind of use the storage put the toilets and the stalls back in but because they're on each of each bathroom has its own septic system we'll just kind of leave that closed off and locked down just as an emergency so when somebody fucks up one of those because it's inevitable we've got we just have so many women they're flush they're flushing shit down the toilet it shouldn't be flushed down the toilet it's just going to happen. So when we have a problem, we can open that one up in the interim until somebody gets over to fix it, which usually is the same day, but it's just a little bit of redundancy. We've got a shower also in the back back here. That room is a, uh, an office with a bathroom that has a shower in it also, and we'll leave that one back there. We'll clean it up and make it look a lot nicer than it obviously does now. But nothing fancy, just some place when you're coming in, because we've got all the, the farm animals are coming here and everything, so when you're coming in cold, wet, and dirty, you can clean up. Really a mud room is what we'll probably use that as. And then down here, we're looking, um, we got some guys coming in to look at the floor for some epoxy options. Um, degreasing the floor, sanding the floor down, and then uh, epoxy, they're gonna patch this floor and then uh, epoxy it. And then once that's done, once this stuff all gets moved to the back, once the floor's down, we'll go ahead and start actually doing these a piece at a time. We'll put the lights up, put the walls and the ceiling in, and then divide this up as a 20 by 20 work area and start actually moving some shit down here. And uh, get a few people in here and start running them and see what kind of problems we really have or don't have. And uh, size-wise if that's where we want to go or we want to knock them down and make them bigger or whatever. Um, some of you guys are asking about power to these walls because there are no walls here. There's going to be a boxed-in area here that runs down this beam so we can drop power. We can tie in and drop power. We can hang power or we can bring it down to a gang box and then once we build walls in it'll just come down off of there. But it's already it's already in motion. They've already got that worked out so we'll have power anywhere there, where there would be an imaginary wall, we'll be able to drop power to it. We can bring it down on the floor or we can bring it down from the roof. So they, they I'd asked them that today and they'd already had that into uh, account. That's about it. Okay. All that steel should start, start running in the next couple days. I should start putting all that shit together. Mongo, you have a lot of stuff over here. What are you cutting? 
Uh, we were doing OD, aka M4 Ritz. This is what an M4, aka M4 Micro, looks like before it goes to sewing. Yeah, got like fucking three tubs there, and she's cutting more. There's only three of the five buckets. Yeah, three of the five buckets. Not including the cutting. And you're cutting more out, aren't you? Yeah. Working on the lids. Sweet. That's so sweet. Isaiah, what are you doing? Making cocks. Should've known you're over here. Cock peddling. Making lots of cocks. Oh, look at that little cutout. That's neat. I don't know. I felt, I felt impressed with myself. What's he talking about? He's singing the song. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's he yelling now? You might not know everyone, but John's a rapper part-time. We hear his raps daily. What are you doing, Sebastian? Getting water. Cody? Yes. Oh, look, Cody's, Cody's boxing some things. I'm working. Oh, nice. I'm giving you more work to do. That's right. For a day. Lance, what are you doing? I'm working. What are you doing? Just saying hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> I just, I'm just packing stuff. This is Lance's department. Those are all belt orders getting built. Got me some smart water. I need, I need some of that. Awesome. Get some of that in me. Get all smart. I feel better already. Didn't even have to take a knee for that one. Alright, well I'm gonna close this out. Thanks everybody.